As you can see, I'm running OS X Yosemite version 10.10.1, .10 a Mac Pro late 2013. Now, that's the profile I created for my Hackintosh. Processor Core i7-4790K, memory 16GB, 1600G scale rib jaws, and graphic NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770, 2 gig. Sorry, I'm covering the serial number. Let's just go to multipist so I can show you guys uh, what uh, what setting I'm using and uh, what profile I created for my Hackintosh. Uh, that's the reason my Hackintosh is running uh, with no problem, with no bug, and it's not crashing. Let's just go to DST free, then driver. Now you have to choose the right audio driver for your motherboard. I'm using a Gigabyte Z87X UD4. So my my I'm using a ALC892. Then go to disk. Um, you don't have to choose that. If you want, you could. I'm not graphic. You don't have to use that if you are using a you know graphic card. Here USB 3 and null CPU, fake SMC, fake SMC. That's just to now these are the reason your computer freeze because you need this stuff to just make your computer think that it's working perfect. Now network, I use the first one, Realtek 881. And that's about it. System. You don't have to do nothing here. So just go to bootloader, just uh, leave that as a default the way it is, uh, and uh, here. Now only thing I'm choosing from here, uh, instant menu because I do have a dual boot and the kiss uh, dev uh, mode, and uh, hybrid mode desktop, I'm using a basic boot option, uh, and uh, 1080p. Also, make sure you uncheck use kernel cache. Now, use kernel cache freezes the computer, so make sure you do not check that. Uh, okay, so you don't have to do nothing. Now, system uh, definition I choose Mac Pro 6.1 because that works perfect with the hardware I have. You can choose Mac Pro 3.1, but I'm, I'm choosing the Mac Pro 6.1. Now, the theme I'm using the Camellia. Uh, 2.2 default and here is my build As you can see my profile here um, I might have to check my audio driver I, I'm thinking it's LC892 but I have to uh, check I, I think it's uh, LC898 uh, but other than that as you can see my setting here and before you install make sure you go to um, system preference and security and privacy click to unlock that and then your password and make sure you choose from anywhere without choosing from anywhere your your multipiece is not going to install any of the driver in your Hackintosh build so you basically given the right for multipiece to install so after that just install every Put your password and install after reboot you should be good to go like i said it's all depend on what hardware you have um these are i these are my configuration for my hardware i have a core i7 4790k i have 16 gig of uh, g scale rip jaws uh, rams i have nvidia geforce gtx 770 graphic card my motherboard is gigabyte z87 x ud4 motherboard so these are my settings guys you know i'm using a samsung uh, 850 pro ssd also a two terabyte seagate hard drive so here, here are the uh, boot flag I used to boot the first time when I was installing my Hackintosh. So here, minus minus X graphic enable equal yes PCI root UID equal one max mem equal forty ninety six. Now that 
boot flag help me all these boot flag together make sure you enter them together and this boot flag kind of helped me boot my system up and go to the installation and f finish the installation now you can just you know use the graphic enabler and just max man or whatever mix it up for more information make sure you go to Tony Mac x86 because that's where I get all my information uh, they have everything set up so nice and um, I just everything works flawlessly you know with their guides and stuff there is like thousands of people there and uh, they're more than happy to help each other uh, with any kind of uh, you know problem or you know anything you can figure out you could definitely just go and post in their website but make sure you register in Tony Max x86 and you know they have everything the hardware list the guide the buyer guide the installation guide everything guys so thanks to Tony Mac x86 this is my fourth built uh, built Hackintosh and I was successful you know just because I follow Tony Mac x86 um, I use my final card I do all my video rendering for YouTube and everything and um, my Mac is working just like um, any Apple Mac so you know so just follow all the step in their uh, website installation guide in business installation guide and multi based and all this um, see you can see here the bias setting now I did all this same here um, the one important one for booting if your CPU support VT did disable it so basically if it's a K series uh, CPU make sure you disable that BT dash BT dash D make sure you disable that uh, if you don't disable that your Hackintosh is not gonna boot up and um, other than that that should be it guys um, I made this video because uh, my viewer requested me and uh, they wanted to know uh, what's the reason my Yosemite running all smooth and everything um, because um, I did every day, I tried, you know, different, different stuff and um, kind of worked out, you know. So, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you guys have any questions, leave the comment below. Thanks to Tony Max x 86 Please don't forget to like and subscribe, share my video. I need this view, I need subscribers. It will help me long and I'll be making a lot more video and show you guys different, different uh, tricks and tricks. So, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and share, you know, admin Google Plus. Peace.